Neil Gaiman is a brilliant writer. The world has agreed on this. No one else can write quite like him. Or can they? No. Still, <laughs> if Neil writes great Neil Gaiman stories, what do bad Neil Gaiman stories sound like? With that in mind, we launched an online challenge, the Bad Gaiman Challenge. And we asked you to submit your worst fake Neil. And boy, did you deliver. Hundreds of you submitted truly wretched, horrible Neil Gaiman stories. Couldn't read more than a few at a time before I had to get up and walk around the room a little bit. We can't read all of them on the air this week, but just know that you are all losers, and we thank you. <laughs> Nevertheless, we've narrowed down our stack to the worst of the worst of the worst. Here to read the winners slash losers of the Bad Gaiman Challenge, please welcome Neil Gaiman. You should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> Kate Bitters from Minnesota. The world's tiniest poker game took place on the head of a pin. All the usual suspects were invited. Mary the unicorn, Cornelius the animate skeleton, Wasp the pig, and Henrietta the imp. I stumbled upon the game when I was traveling to my grandmother's house in Mugwumpton, jabbed my foot right into the pin, and caused Wasp the Pig to spill the extra aces he kept ticked in his waistcoat. Possibly tucked. <laughs> it says tick tick. It's, it's bad on many levels. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have happened if the sky over Mugwumpton wasn't a sickly purple that day but the sky rats were out and the she boars were lactating, so the sky changed and the pin was stepped on and poor Wasp the Pig was never invited to another poker game again. Wow. That's bad. Shadow Moon stood before the mirror, staring in delicious surprise at the malformed baby angel hand that hanged in the middle of his wide chest, his creamy coffee skin shimmering with little trembles of anticipation. <laughs> this is great, he whispered. And so he put on his jacket and went out on an adventure with his loyal friend, Hanging Baby Angel Hand. It's like a fantasy nobody would want to have. This one is Peter Ray from Minnesota. John Olson's life was very bland indeed. One day John Olson was walking home from his bland and forgettable job. It's not important what his title or duties actually were, just be content knowing he wore a suit and carried a briefcase. On this day, that briefcase proved worthless when a sudden wintry gust blasted down the street. John Olson's briefcase was torn open and out of his hand various important and boring documents scattered down the street. John Olson spent the next few minutes grumbling softly but not expressively to himself as he picked up his papers. Suddenly he noticed a large shadow looming over him. It was a girl wearing heavy looking armor and the pelt of some animal. Her armor was scratched and rusted, but still impressive. She carried a sword nearly as big as her, which was crusted with various ichors. Her steely yet youthful face broke into a smile as she saw John Olson staring. I am Brunhild, she said, Jonathan Sanavole. I bid you good tidings. My Lord the Allfather has bade me summon you in this his time of greatest need. Will you answer his call? She held out a rough yet dainty hand to him. <laughs> John Olson very slowly stood up. Nope. <laughs> David Malky from California writes, a crow, you see, knows all the best secrets about men and about wolves and about the moon and about a candle that burns down to reveal the faces of old gods in the shapes of crows and men and wolves. <laughs> and the moon. 
This crow was perched on a certain tree under a certain moon watching a boy who looked like a wolf. <laughs> the boy's name was Boy. <laughs> because that's what wolves know to call boys. And besides, the name Wolf was already taken. by the tree. <laughs> the crow knew this and other things besides. That's some bad gaming. <laughs> yep. Neil Gaiman, is that one the more. worst Neil Gaiman though? Well, actually this is my, this one is sort of my favorite of the bad <laughs> Gaiman's coming up because I think it has, it has everything the others have plus concision. Mm. Everything you want and less. <laughs> and this is Corey Martin from Tennessee. So this one day, these teacups showed up. Um, Ragnarok. And that's the Bad Gaming Challenge.